for part two of the Perth Police Tour. First one, I'm going to head up the stairway, the terrace stairway, which then leads up to the main parts over there. Now we're heading up the stairs. Nice to go. They put wooden steps over the stone steps so the stone steps don't get eroded by foot footpath. Right, if you put steps, so it's so it can't be destroyed. Well, anyway, as we come up, coming up to the first part of it. Come up the top stairway. Looks like we have a looks like we have a bit of a lizard walking around. I think the lizard wants to take over the whole of this place. I just quickly head forward. So that I can get a good shot of the main parts of this. Huh. Here are my family coming up the steps. Now, back to back to this main part. Most of it's been eroded or taken away. Most of it's been taken away anyway. But here, they had massive horses. Here's my, Hello. That's my cousin. Well, here we've got the two um, horses, which represent the people of the Aquilinian period that they had. This place is known. Is the gate of all lands over here. <laughs> they said each of it was in 16.5 meters, five meters higher. And was. And. Okay, okay. Then put the fella. For now, this was built by Xerxes during. 486, 486 BC to 466 BC. During this time, it was still being built. Eventually, it was finally built after 4, 466 BC. Here we've got the side line of the gate, this side of the gate, and we've got the right side of the gate to go as well. No. Now we move to this side of the gate. This is what it looks like. There's that side. Now, in we go to the gate of all lands. Leading in to the main parts. Let's just, let's just go with later on in the years, recently. There's one of the pillars. And there's another one going up. There's about, at least, there were, there were four pillars. One of the pillars have been destroyed. Don't know why. Whoever, but whoever's done it is a complete wazzock. All right. Now moving on to the other side of the other gate. Might be able to get a better look of what was supposed to be on the front side over here. Now this is what it's supposed to be. And this was before Islam came into Persia. During then, 
it was the Zoroastrians. That was the, the, the religion was Zoroastrian. If I turn anything else. Now let's move from this side. Go further on to the. To the we're gonna turn left. This is the rest of it in more detail. As we move forward, move to the more major places of Paris Police. I'm just going to get my stand so I can hold it so you can see it from all angles. Now let's just move forward and go up the steps to see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we can see up here. Other parts that are that collapsed, I've been put under this deep pen and stuff, so it didn't get any worse. All of this was built at the same time. Over here. This place over here served as a and it was known as the upper donna and because of that and this place has six doorways with wooden doors, one of each sheets of precious metals and four towers that each had three floors. They had an enormous roof on the top as well, but nothing much is left of it. That's me. It's where it's where they used to stay at during the nights of each day. And if they had any guests, they would let them in so that they could stay there. Over here. Also, we've got another side of the upper donna. Need further one. Got further more parts of it here. Now I'm moving on to another side of this place. It wasn't even focused, was it? Probably got the upper hand over there, but it was so blurred. Probably that would look like more pillars, some more collapsed pillars. This part was not to fall apart. 
Ya. People from other countries have stolen parts of the Persian culture. Disgraceful. They've stolen all of these. See the tops, they're gone. They've all been stolen. They've been broken down. Now as we fall. Trying to see if we can get access to what's up there. Oh, looks like they've blocked it off. Oh, they've blocked it off so nobody's allowed in. I can't get the best view I can from it. This is where they had. This is where it would have sat inside there when people were to come and see him or give him news about what's going on in this country during the time. We love you, Snapchat. <laughs> Anyway, we've got a load of roads down here, but there's another part. Move forward. We've got all the parts of the town that have been broken down. This part is known as the Takara. This is where this is where the king, where the king, would have slept. This was, this was his house. This is where the king would stay each night and every day. This is his house over here. We've even got writing on the walls. We've got writing on the walls of the time. So the kind of hieroglyphics they had. It's hieroglyphics they had during the time. How they wrote their things down. It's been eroded. Anyway. It's been, a, it's been eroded. Other things. There's another. There's some more. The writing. Now I'm moving this side. We've got. We've got some more. Rising that's been broken down. Now I'm even further on past the Takara. I'm moving on to this side. Got some more writing on the walls, being rooted down, can't really tell what it says. It's all being chiseled in. I'm moving on to this side. I've got some pictures on the walls, more writing, kind of telling the story, how they live their life, what it was like, but people have took parts away, stored it in their own museums, literally kind of taking the culture away, trying to take our culture away. Hello, 
I'm Jack. Hello, I'm Jack. این میرو رو یوتیوب همه از دوستان میبینن همه شون یوتیوب توش چیزای خنده گفتی میدارن درسته همه چیز میذارن از همه چیز در مورد خنده دار همه چیز داره یوتیوب اتقا کامتر خودت میخواد بفرزه ها؟ اتقا کامتر خالی نه میخواد نه خونه خودم خود رفتی اونجا؟ آره ام بای دوی میخواد سما آسی تایم تو فاند اون مرفمیشن اوه واقع اوه ایه ایه از ده دیش This this palace was ruined. This was built by Xerxes. He called it the Hadish. It's where Xerxes lived. And the Alexandrian fire, this during when Alexander the Great came and attacked Persia, he devast he destroyed as much as he could. Of Xerxes' house and parts over here. He tried to destroy as much as he could. It's made from bedrock. He even never had underground drainage in that during that time. And all sorts of other things. Now I'm moving on to see some more. I'm moving forward. Let's do some more of this. Let's see what's on this side. Ah, oh, we've got some more places to see. Now moving forward, there's another part leading in to there. That's some type of garden over here. Left the places. Probably that's probably where they have the underground roots. Probably that steps going down from there, leading down over there. Moving on, moving there. Underground way, underground pathways to move all around the palace, all around the whole of this place. Here we go. Moving towards the more. The places that they had. Moving over here. That's what they've got over here. This is where the Aquadinians chose to stay at the Holy Ground. This one. More pictures of what it was, what it was like back then. Small steps moving down. There's some other parts over there. Let's see what the hole are. There's some plaques over there. Talking about. I'll try and summarize it for you of what of this was all what this all this section and the whole mapping is all about. So here is the blueprints of the whole of this place. All of it. It's the whole map. The blueprints of it. That's the map over there. 
and I'll move it forward into of what's further down over here. Yeah. 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 Looks like there's one of the other gates leading further and forward. Nah, no. Okay. So there is the king of the time with his lion fighting with his lion. Uh, I'm going to so now moving forward. So we have this is a secret picture of them three because they wanted one during the video. Here we move forward. Some more remains of Paris police. Pillars and everything. They even have some type of coliseum over there, I think. I'm not sure though. <coughs> here I am over here, I'm walking down. They've blocked off some areas so they can't cross over. There's some more carved things of what used to go on back then. There's the king up there. There's someone coming to meet him. Some more things that used to go on. As I move forward, some more pillars, another gate. Whole massive complex, literally. There's even more parts that lead up to there. This is the main grounds. And there is, they have that type of horse thing over here. This was the hundred column hall. Hundred columns hall. The whole of this place. That was the hundred columns hall that I just went through. Now zoom me forward over there. You see some other parts over there. As I get closer. Some parts of this lab, probably there's probably there's supposed to be two horses again. Right, let's see, one, let's we'll see what it was supposed to be. This was the unfinished gate. This is supposed to be the gate that led into the Hunter Crumbs Hall, but never, but never was, but it was never finished. wasn't completely finished by the end. Now let's move. Oh, they took all of that 
No, I just no, summarized it up no, for what no, was going no, on. Not summarized. Just read it for them. Okay. They 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 can understand it. Okay. So okay. this this read is the story it, of the on all of them. Okay. So this is the story of the unfinished gate. The remnants of this gate plan north of the north portico of the hundred column hall indicate that the structure was left incomplete. Here roughly worked stone slabs intended for column shafts, bases and capitals are scattered on the ground and doorway pillars stand partially erected. These relics give us clear indications about the methods of construction which employed wooden scaffolding and sculpting, which start from the top and work downwards. At Perspolis. The mud brick fortification which once protected Perspolis on the east and north can still be traced. In the northeastern corner an archive of of some 34,000 clay tablets inscribed in Elamite were discovered which record the activity of the officials of the empire, special payments to workers, messengers, priests and dignitaries while first police were still being built. Now moving further up, I want to move upwards to over there to see what is on that side up in the the mountain. They are mounted on this side of there. Mount, mountain for some sort some sort of protection. But there's probably a disadvantage if they were attacked from that side. Now I'm moving towards what's up on the mountains. See what they've had up there. Now I'm moving up. Up the mountain I go. They somehow tried to create a path for the for as easy access as possible, but it's partially a hard climb. Well, it's not that hard. It's just quite steep. Getting up is the easy part. Getting down is partially harder. Moving up, and if I go, I tend to see what's behind this stone wall. There's chances you might slip. So the platform I'm coming up for. Trying to keep as low as possible. Trying to get off this place. Here is a partial view from the high parts of this place to look over the whole of Perspolis. 
something's further up to see what is in this part here or what in this location up the hill Well, this is some type of thing they had. I'll be able to stay in. <laughs> During the time. They've got some CCTV over there. Just so they can take care of the place. And this is where Ardashir the third had his house built in the in Perth police. This is where Ardashir the third stayed. Fortunately, there's no entry allowed, so nobody's allowed in or out of this way. This is as close as I can get to the entrance. And that's the end. Thank you for watching. And that's the end of the tour of Perth Police. See you in the next video of more sightseeing places. More places we're starting seeing in Iran. Like, subscribe, and Logan's just two out.